The Daleks' crusade to destroy all life across time and space has spread their influence across many galaxies, sometimes in ways that the Daleks did not anticipate. One example of an unintended side effect of the Dalek conquest came in the form of a standard grey Dalek that crashed on the planet Florana, suffering heavy damage to its casing, weapons and memory banks in the process, which set itself up as a deity and transformed the peaceful civilization living on the planet into a ruthless dictatorship, hell-bent on destroying all other civilizations it can find. The Dalek, which had originally been a simple grey warrior, was referred to as the High Priest by its subjects, and created an authoritarian regime of fanatical zealots who, like the Khalid scientific elite on Skaro in the early days of the Daleks, obeyed orders without question and worked towards the ultimate goal of total conquest at any cost. The Dalek High Priest implemented a program of eugenics, in which the strongest and most intelligent Floranians were made into soldiers and tacticians, and the rest were forced into slavery or executed en masse. In secret, the High Priest attempted to contact other Daleks, but a time distortion prevented it from contacting its own kind. In the end, its signal was intercepted by the Fifth Doctor, who unwittingly landed the TARDIS on Florana and was soon embroiled in a desperate struggle to overthrow the High Priest and liberate the Floranians from its vile influence. The Doctor actually appeared to be willing to assist the Dalek in returning home, arguing that helping it would also remove it from the planet, allowing the people to rebuild their civilization. As a result, the Doctor and the Dalek entered into an alliance, but the Dalek underestimated the degree to which its Dalek conditioning had influenced its high-ranking Floranian subjects. They rebelled against their leader, arguing that its attempts to flee were a result of weakness, and attempted a coup to continue the Dalek-influenced government of Florana, showing just how deeply rooted the Dalek mindset had become. The High Priest's top lieutenant would go on to prove that he was just as committed, deranged and murderous as any Dalek, and despite the fact that the Doctor, Nyssa and Tegan were eventually able to overthrow the Floranian government, it took the planet centuries to recover from the effects of the Dalek High Priest's influence. The interesting thing about the Dalek High Priest is that, despite the fact that it lacks its physical strength due to the damage to its casing, it is still able to propagate Dalek ideas. Much like the Dalek from Jubilee, the High Priest reaches the conclusion that, if it cannot rejoin the Daleks, the next best thing is to corrupt the society around it with Dalek ideas, eventually creating a regime that is just as bloodthirsty and ruthless as any Dalek Empire. What do you think of the Dalek High Priest? Have you listened to the Elite? Let me know what you think of this devious Dalek in the comments below.